A heated discussion in Jamestown tonight over the future of the Jamestown Newport Ferry. As we first told you earlier this week, the town council and company that operate the ferry have been struggling to reach a contract on how it should operate. Tonight, the town's Harbor Commission recommended both sides re-engage in discussions. 12 News reporter Kayla Fish joins us now with what happens next. Kayla? Right now, according to its website, the Jamestown Newport Ferry is scheduled to start running for the spring on May 21st, but that won't happen unless the two sides can come to an agreement. We can't lose that ferry service. A bitter dispute over the Jamestown Newport Ferry playing out in public Wednesday night. Thanks, you're missing the point that the <laughs> thing was in the lead parameter. At the heart of the issue, disagreements between the town council and Connecticut Marine Services, also known as CMS, which operates the ferry over a use agreement for the town's pier. For a private business. It's a public utility, ma'am. The town council says its use agreement offer was rejected by CMS February 28th and discussions ended there, which according to CMS, means no ferry will run to and from Jamestown. The two sides disagree over who controls a portion of the dock and pier where the ferry is located, with some on the town side arguing it should be accessible to the boating public, while CMS says it has a lease agreement to utilize the space. We just don't agree, and, and we don't really see any end to that not agreeing. You know, in order to determine the ownership issue, mediation is, a professional mediation is, is what is, I think, going to be required. Residents split on the issue as well. One man says he and his family tried to walk onto the town pier, but were turned away by ferry workers. With a lot of indignity, we're told, this is ours, this is for the ferry, you can't go here. And it made me think, this town is not open for business, hmm. it's not open for public. But others argued the ferry is a public utility since it provides a way for people without boats to access Jamestown and its waters. Business owners worry without the ferry, they'll lose thousands of visitors who come to the island each summer. Without them, the local businesses are not going to survive. You need to do whatever it takes to make that ferry run. Now the commission's recommendation goes to the town council to consider to hopefully find a solution soon because the clock is ticking. Summer is right around the corner. In studio, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.